I've already arranged to meet some of the supervisors to talk to them and explain things to them more clearly. Nothing to explain. There is no retrenchment. The board has not voted yet. Boss, I still think it would be good to talk to the staff. Yes, at least we can try to rebuild some of the trust we've lost. Which Michael lost. Michael may be young and inexperienced, but at least he stands for what he believes in. I agree with Wafi and Nadia. We have always treated our staff fairly and they deserve a better explanation. Listen, in my personal experience... Your personal experience seems to be destroying people's livelihood. <laughs> Stop being so dramatic, Shirley. This is just business. Okay, go ahead. Yes, boss. Well, I should go to the factory and ensure that the workers' feelings will not affect productivity. I will go with you. Pa, Peter Tate is not letting go of this retrenchment. Shall we let the board know what he's doing? At least they are on our side. No. Don't get the board involved again. It's messy. We'll handle him. Hmm. Hello, Abang Zul. Hey, Uncle Bill. Mm. Why? Your food okay? Oh, food is okay. Everything okay. You okay? Yeah. Why would I not be? Oh, because you look like very preoccupied. No lah. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to check out my curry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time off to meet me. I think I'm just going to go straight to the point. I know that most of the staff are concerned and you, as one of the supervisors, we need your help to reassure the workers about the rumours, you know, nothing is confirmed. I know it's not confirmed, but it's still possible. Yes, but you have nothing to worry about. Here at KS Foods, we take care of our employees. Miss Nadia, you have only worked here for a short while. Many of us have worked all our lives in this company. Exactly. So you of all people should know that Mr. Lim treats his employees like family, right? But uh, things have changed. Mr. Lim is now in partnership with this uh, Peter T. Even so, the truth of the matter is the company does care about the livelihood of the workers. And that is why we're trying to find other options besides retrenchment. The truth of the matter is KS Foods has made big bucks and has now forgotten the workers who helped build up this company. Come, have a seat. Ah, okay. Ben. How's Izu? Still upset. He hasn't heard from Juliana yet. Ben, Miss Chiang. Thank you, Abangzo. Zu, come over here. What? Come on. I'm working. Sit down. Have you talked to Juliana? I'm sure she would understand, right? It's just a small matter, a misunderstanding between you two, right? Misunderstanding? I accused her of trying to cheat my money. She's an honest person, but I accused her. Was it because of what I said to you yesterday? What did you say, Andy Summer? I was just joking only, right? Doesn't matter. So, um, you two were dating only, right? Nothing serious? No lah. Nothing serious. Is that all? Okay, any questions so far? Uh, not right now. Thanks. Yes, Felicia. Perfect. I updated your calendar with this afternoon's meeting already. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to the factory for a while. Uh, noted, boss. Hmm. Wafik, don't you have your own office? Yes, I do, but Nadia is using it to talk to the supervisors. Hmm. Michael, good to see you working hard here, doing some damage control, huh? 
Mr. Jay, I couldn't access your online calendar, but you confirm for the meeting later at 4 pm, right? Mm, move it up. I need to leave by 4. Okay, Peter, let's go. <sighs> so hard to schedule meetings like that. Why can't you just give me access to his calendar like the rest of the management? Anyway, I should have known. Mr. Lim treats his staff well. Yes. But he's a ruthless businessman. Your father was Mr. Abdul Rahman, right? See how Mr. Lim bought him out before he made all the big bucks for himself? Friendship or not friendship, in the end, money talks, right? Actually, Vijesh, it's not as bad as people think. You know, you shouldn't let one rumour destroy all the goodwill he has shown to you and the staff. Your talk is cheap. I hope Mr. Lim does the right thing. Well, thank you very much, Vijesh. Feel free to call me if there's any more questions. Miss Nadia? Please, come in. Hi, Zul. Juliana! You saw my messages. I'm not sure whether you, you saw. Yes, I saw. Uh, Sid, come. Hungry? We have uh, this week's special nasi lama. I tell you what, I get your plate with extra sambal. It's okay. Um, I won't be staying long anyway. I'm paying you back all the 10k that I borrowed. No. You need that money. I managed to get a bank loan by mortgaging my parents' flat. I'm sorry, I, sh I should have gotten you involved in all this. No, I should be the one to apologise to you, Juliana. Don't worry, your CPF money is safe. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Please, let me explain. No need. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. to make some corrections to you. Yes, we care as food. These are the things I get. Free. Hey, are you okay? I'm okay, just really need chocolate. <sighs> it's that bad, huh? You know, it takes years to build up trust and just one rumour to tear it all down. Would you like me to sit in with you? Maybe... I can help. Thanks, but I need the supervisors to be open with me and if you're here... They won't because I'm management. I understand. Well, you're doing a great job, so just keep it up. Thanks. I still need chocolate. I'll get it for you. Mira, you have a beautiful home. Oh, thank you. Gilbert is a good friend of ours. We were supposed to meet for tea as well. I thought, why not bring him over and you can meet him too? Oh, sure. <laughs> so, Gilbert, what do you do? Oh, I own an aesthetics clinic. Here you go. Thank you. Huh? My son Arjun is a doctor as well. A trainee surgeon. He should be home any time. Ah, there he is. Arjun! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I hope you haven't forgotten about our No, no, of course I haven't. <laughs> Arjun, why don't you join us? Uh, is that the issue with the factory is this? Pa, how was the factory visit? Okay, everything is going smoothly. <sighs> Mr. Tay, when can you give me access to your online calendar? Why? So that I can schedule meetings for you. I've already told you what you need to know. I'll be free to for today. But what about other appointments? It'll be so much easier for me to assist you if you give me access to your online class. You're doing just fine. You don't need to know more. But... Which reminds me, I have an appointment now. So, message me the venue and the time of the next meeting. Thanks. See you. Ah, uh, where is he off to again? Better that he's not around so much. 
He doesn't want us to know what he does and where he goes. He's always like that? Why so secretive? It makes it so difficult for us to trust him. Hello? Hello. Wafiq? Okay, Rashid? Not bad. Oh, uh, Rashid, you mean one of the recommendations for Nadia? Yes. And you finally found a suitable candidate? Yeah, he seems like a good match. Actually, Salma, I think Nadia is pretty busy at work now. I don't think this is a good time for you to actually be... Anytime having... is a good time. I can't afford to wait anymore. Salma, Nadia is facing some stressful issues in the office. Maybe we should just give her some time to actually uh, consider okay. and... In that case, next week. Okay? Goodbye. Zul. Um, I want to apologize again. I'm sorry that I interfered in your relationship with Juliana. No, it's not your fault. It's mine. Yeah, but I shouldn't have told you to be suspicious of her. Selma, have I ever really listened to what you said? Not really. Never. So whatever you said will not influence me. It was my own fear that causes me to judge her unfairly. Um, or maybe, how can I help you, Zul? Do you want me to talk to her for you? I mean, I can do that. I can call her. You give me her number. I can do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe I'm fated to be alone. So, lovebirds, are we going to hear wedding bells soon? <laughs> Basker. Ba. Oh, welcome home. Welcome home, just in time. Finally, Bhaskar. I was wondering when you would cheer up. Hi, Kiran. Hi, Anne. Bhaskar, this is Gilbert, a friend of Anne and Kiran's. Hi, Gilbert. Nice to meet you. So, Bhaskar, I hear that you're a very hard-working GP. <laughs> I try to do the best for my patients. Oh, please. I could never be a GP. <laughs> Why do you say that? Always at the back end, call your patient. Oh. Treating every little ailment known to man. <laughs> and um, you must be a doctor, Gilbert? Uh, aesthetics. <laughs> what can I say? I'm sport. <laughs> My patients come in already gorgeous. And I make them even more gorgeous. <laughs> Gilbert is one of the most skilled aesthetics doctors in Singapore. My mother only trusts Gilbert with her Botox injections. Really? You've done Botox? Wow, I, I couldn't tell. Impressive work. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong in aging gracefully. Well, nothing wrong with maintaining what you've been naturally blessed with. Well, I have been thinking of getting some treatments as well. Come by my clinic anytime, Mira. Thank you. For you. Thanks, Felicia. All done? Finally. You know, I really hope that I managed to reassure all the staff. <sighs> God. Heaven, thanks. <sighs> Nadia? Yeah? You're not going to like what I'm about to show you. We just received this email. Who tipped off the press? Abang Zul. Hmm. The lunch crowd has cleared. Why do you take a break? I need to prep for dinner. So early. Abang Zul, just take a break. Man, man. I need to keep myself busy, okay? Hello, Salma. What do you want? Hey, Zul, where are you now? Come on, join me for a walk at Botanic Gardens. 
Botanic gardens? Uh, I'm busy. Uh, just come on. Get some fresh air. No, no, no. It's okay. You go ahead, okay? Hey, you can let me take a walk all by myself, okay? And why not? Okay, fine. I'm not leaving until you get here, okay? Abazo. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. I'll see you there. Yeah, bye. Aesthetic medicine isn't just about fixing something that's broken. It's also about enhancing something that's already beautiful. <laughs> Why go through expensive, unnecessary procedures just to delay the inevitable? We should learn how to accept ourselves. We should. Mm. But for people who don't, that's where I come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like uh, taking advantage of people's insecurities, right? <laughs> I provide a service. I help people feel better about themselves and help them become more successful in life. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> it makes me more successful in life too. You must see Gilbert's cars uh, and his boat. Mm. Wait, you have a boat? Well, technically, it's a yacht. <laughs> and the best part about staying at Sentosa Cove is that I can berth it right at my doorstep. Maybe Bhaskar should have gone into aesthetics then. <laughs> uh, I came into medicine to serve people, <laughs> not to make money. <laughs> but clearly if you worked hard enough, you deserve the rewards, right? Exactly. I help people too, Bhaskar. We just do it differently. <laughs> Bhaskar, Arjun, Feel free to drop by my clinic anytime. I'll even give you a good discount if you're interested in any of our treatments. I don't need any aesthetic treatment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, you could come in. We could do something about that crow's feet. Salma talked to me and explained that it was all her fault. And she made you suspicious about me. I'm sorry if... I heard your feelings. She... She also said that you were very affected by our breakup. Breakup? <laughs> she said breakup? I tell you that Salma always exaggerating, you know. It's not like we're going steady, right? Actually, it's not her. It was me. So, that's the email. It seems that some of the employees have gone to the press. I don't want this to become a big problem. We know how difficult it is to deal with negative press. So, your employees boast about their loyalty for 20, 30 years. And just like that, they run to the press. What does that say about their loyalty? It's all your fault, Peter. You started all this thing about retrenchment. See what happened now. Remind me again who let the staff know about the retrenchment first. Wafi, drop the statement. There's no need to. I'll do the press interview. I'll turn this into a positive. It's not so... Okay. Do it. So we are going steady. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then broke up. Then we steady again. Huh? I suppose so. I thought all along we've been going steady. So, Bhaskar, when is your turn to buy a boat and take us fishing? A boat, Mira? Mira, 
you know they say the most happiest days in a boat owner's life are the day he buys a boat and the day he sells it. So, there's a maybe. Mira, this beautiful house that we live in also costs money. Okay? <laughs> Besides, I'm not too interested in this aesthetics business. It's like praying and profiting of people's insecurities. Isn't that right, Arjun? Huh? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's in a good mood. Yep. I met Juliana. Mm -hmm. We went for a walk. Hey, everything's okay now. That's great. But then again, I think I have to thank Salma. You know? She started this uh, online dating nonsense. At the end of it, it worked out well. Hi, Mrs. Barrera. Hi, Ben. Hello. Uh, tasty eyes. Kurang manis, right? No, actually, I came here to pass you this. The Georgetown book? You already finished reading it? No, but I have plenty of other books on my list, so you can take it first. No, better not. Why don't you finish it and pass it to me? Really, it's okay. I tell you what, in return, you can take me to my favourite nasi kanda at Lombok Karnavan one day. Hmm. No, no, no. That's not standard. I tell you what, I'll bring you to the place I usually go. Just outside Gurney. Now, that's proper nasi kanda. Alright, I'll take you up on that offer. Till then, happy reading. I really got to run. Bye. 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 The years have gone, the paint has worn, but a feeling's in the air. The warmth and comfort of a face. How's my wonderful father? Has he been giving you any trouble at work? No. No trouble at all. You know, just uh, retrenching people, uh, ruining their livelihoods. That's all. It was new, right? That does sound like my dad. Yeah, my mom's so stressed out about the whole thing. Someone leaked the retrenchment rumors to the press. So what's gonna happen? I don't know. Your dad's meeting the reporters this afternoon. To sort things out. Oh. Hey, maybe he'll just try to charm the reporters or spin more lies what he's fantastic at. Well, either way, I don't care.